Welcome back to Cox Connections. The school year is back in full swing, and there's a lot happening at Fairfax County Public Schools. For example, a new proposal for a later start time, some changes to the schedule, and increased enrollment, just to name a few. Here to talk about how the school is managing all these changes is Marty Smith, the superintendent's chief of staff. Welcome, Marty. Thanks, J.D. How are you doing today? I'm great. How are you doing? Chief of staff for the superintendent. What is that? So uh, it's, a, it's a, a new role in Fairfax County Public Schools. I am responsible for our Department of Communications. I'm responsible for working with our TJ admissions process, governmental relations, uh, just to name a few of the, the responsibilities I have in the county. You have quite a few, it seems. Uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's been a great transition. I was formerly an assistant superintendent in Fairfax County Schools, been with the school system for 20 years, started as a second grade teacher, awesome. and now I'm seeing things from a different perspective. Absolutely. Absolutely. Well, welcome again. Thank you. Thank you. So I got three daughters, all of them in the school system, two high school daughters. They talked to me about these late start times for high schools. Help the audience understand, and more importantly, help me as a parent understand how I need to articulate that to my kids. So I want to give you a little bit of background about later start times for Fairfax County Schools. Mm -hmm. In April of 2012, the school board uh, passed a resolution uh, explaining its commitment to uh, having later start times for students, specifically at the high school, uh, after 8 o'clock. Uh, the school board engaged in a process to contract with the Children's National Medical Center uh, to help us create a plan uh, for how to do this and how to do this right. Uh, after we worked with Children's National Medical Center, uh, we had an opportunity to uh, have them share their plan uh, with the school board at several work sessions and eventually this July they shared their final plan with us uh, and how we would uh, move forward with later start times for students in Fairfax County. What that means for your daughters is that if they're in high school, uh, they currently start school at 7.20 in the morning. Uh, they'll be starting high school, uh, if this is passed, uh, between 8 o'clock and 8.10 in the morning as a high school student. Well, I, th I think they'll be happy about that. I think they will be happy about it. And it will cause some changes to our middle school uh, start times. They currently uh, have uh, their openings from 7.30 to 7.45 in the morning. Uh, those start times will switch to 7.30 for middle schools. And our elementary students, uh, there will be no change to the elementary schedule this year. That's a good news story. Well, I'm looking forward to seeing how that plays out. There's also a couple other changes that took place. What is that, full day Mondays? Full day Mondays, yes. One of my jobs as the new chief of staff is that I was responsible for shepherding in full day Mondays. Uh, so in June of this, uh, past, of this year, uh, the school board uh, voted that they wanted to change a, a decades old uh, tradition or custom that we have here in Fairfax County Schools of closing school early at the elementary on Monday afternoons. Uh, so uh, working very hard and working very closely with principals and teachers uh, this summer, we were able to modify our schedule to start uh, or uh, to uh, have our Monday afternoons uh, go away and we have a full day Monday for students. What this does for students is that it increases instructional time for all of our elementary students. It provides our teachers with dedicated planning time and it also will help us in case we have uh, any uh, inclement weather uh, situations like we had this last school year. I'm sure you remember those. Absolutely. So you've got later start times possible, you've got full day Mondays, and now you have increased enrollment. How are you managing all of that? Uh, well, increased enrollment. When I arrived in Fairfax County uh, 20 years ago, we were around the 13th largest school district in the nation. Uh, this year, uh, we have seen an increase of uh, over 2,100 students to Fairfax County schools which has made us the 10th largest uh, school district in the nation with 186,000 students. In the past five years, we've uh, seen an increase to our student population of about 15,000 students. And what that really means for us uh, is that there's a major impact on our facilities and our ability to uh, find adequate learning space for students. And so we're always uh, working within our, our school community to explain to our uh, constituents in Fairfax County that space isn't an issue, it is a concern for us. Uh, just recently, uh, while we've been going out with our building, we just recently went up with a new building in uh, the Bailey's Crossroads area. Absolutely. Bailey's Upper 
Upper Elementary School. It is a shining star for us in Fairfax County Schools. It's a five-story elementary school. It's the first urban school of its uh, design here in Fairfax County Schools. Uh, State-of-the-art equipment, state-of-the-art learning environment for students. And uh, we anticipate that we will have to do more of this type of you know, urban school design in the future as we think about space concerns uh, here in Fairfax County and overall growth. So uh, how are you supporting the growth from a temporary basis? Uh, temporary basis, it's, uh, it's all about the uh, temporary uh, classrooms that we have uh, in each of our, uh, in many of our schools. Uh, we have uh, some schools, uh, Bailey's Elementary School previously had 19 temporary classrooms uh, out behind the school. And by opening this new school, we've been able to reduce that number to four temporary classrooms and uh, move our upper elementary students into a fabulous learning space. Outstanding. So a lot of things going on. So is there a strategic plan in place to help outline what's happening in the future? Well, actually, we're in the strategic plan development process now. Well, the school board, working with staff, we've identified four goal areas for the strategic plan. Uh, the first goal area being student success. Uh, the second being that of creating a caring culture in Fairfax County Schools. The third, uh, ensuring that we have a premier workforce in Fairfax County Schools. And the last, uh, ensuring that the, the Fairfax County residents understand that we're being good uh, stewards of their resources. And speaking of resources, what resources are available for parents? Uh, for parents, uh, we always like to direct parents to our, our school website, uh, fcps.edu. Uh, you can learn as much as you want about our, our, uh, our school district on our website. We also encourage our community members to uh, download the FCPS mobile app. There's a lot of good information about uh, menus, school directories. It's available in the uh, uh, App Store uh, for iPhone as well as for Android. Uh, lastly, uh, we want parents to be directed to our, our social media. Uh, we have uh, many different avenues for parents to become engaged uh, with Fairfax County Schools. We have a Facebook page, we have a Twitter presence, and we're very excited that we've just recently uh, started our uh, new uh, Facebook page for Spanish-speaking parents. Uh, different content, all in Spanish, uh, for our Spanish-speaking community. This has been great. I have some new information to go home and sit, share with those two daughters of mine. Great. Thank you for coming. Really appreciate it, Marty. Thank you. And thank you again here for joining us on another episode of Cox Connections. But before you go, I want to personally thank you for choosing Cox Communications for your entertainment, information, and communication needs. We know you could have chosen another provider, but because you chose us, we pledge to be your friend you can trust. We promise to provide you with quality products backed up by a talented local team of professionals that will help you stretch every dollar. And from all of your friends and neighbors here at Cox, we thank you for joining us here again for another episode of Cox Connections.